Hey viewers, this is MathCamp321 presenting a lesson on solving linear equations with fractions. Scary? I don't think so. Oftentimes when students see equations that have fractions in them, they can be very, very intimidating. But the trick in solving questions like this is just to think about what is the LCD, the least common denominator. And if we multiply every element of the equation by that LCD, the fractions are going to just go away and it's going to become a very simple equation. Let's take a look at example one. Solve 5 halves x plus 2 thirds equals 1 sixth times the quantity x minus 3. The first thing that I'm going to do is focus on the denominators that occur in the uh, problem. The denominators are 2, 3, and 6. Now the LCD, or the least common denominator using the values 2, 3, and 6, would be the number 6. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides of the equation, the right side and the left side, by the number 6. Okay, on the left hand side we'll distribute the 6 into the 5 halves x and then the 6 into the 2 thirds. Well, 6 times 5 halves x is 30 halves, or 15 x. 6 times 2 thirds is 12 thirds, or 4. Now on the right hand side, I'm going to multiply 6 times 1 sixth. Now all these things are being multiplied together, so I'm not going to use the distributive property. It's the 6 times 1 sixth times the expression x minus 3. So 6 times 1 6 is just 6 6 or 1, so I'm really just left with x minus 3. Now shifting things around and getting all the x's to one side, I'm going to end up with 14x equals negative 7, and dividing by 14 leaves me with x equals negative 7 fourteenths, which reduces of course to negative 1 half. Okay, that wasn't so bad, was it? Again, it's all about establishing that LCD. Let's take a look at a second example. 2 thirds minus 4 fifths x equals 3 halves x minus 3 fifths. And again, the first thing I'm going to do is focus on those denominators, the 3, the 5, and the 2. Okay, the LCD with a 2 and a 3 and a 5 is going to be 30. So what I'm going to do is take that LCD and multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. 30 distributed into 2 thirds is going to be 60 thirds or 20. 30 times 4 fifths x is going to be 120 over 5 x or 24 x. Moving to the right hand side, 30 times 3 halves x is going to be 90 halves x or 45 x. And finally we have 30 times 3 fifths which is 90 fifths or 18. Moving all the x terms to the right, I'll do that by adding 24 to both sides or 24 x. And in the same step I'll add 18 to both sides. So the 24 x's on the left are going to cancel out and the 18's on the right are going to cancel out. So we're going to be left with 38 is equal to 69x. If we divide both sides by 69, we get x equals 38 over 69. So this was a quick lesson on how to solve linear equations that have fractions in them. And at first glance they look really scary, but in the end, if you can just figure out that LCD and multiply through, you're going to clear the fractions and it's going to be a piece of cake.